Hi everyone, my name is Billie Jean Adams and I am so excited to do my presentation on my internship with the Talalaga Accountable Court, also known as TAC, T-A-C. So I will be uh, referring to them as TAC throughout my video. I have a lot to say in 10 minutes. So many of the slides I'm going to be highlighting and putting together, So, but I do hope that you'll go back and read some of my slides. So... With that being said, let's get started because I have a lot to say. So what is TAC? Who are they? Uh, TAC is accountability court that offers an alternative sentencing for individuals with mental health illness and or substance use disorder. TAC is also aimed to reduce the repeat offenders and to reduce the prison cost. They were established in 2005 TAC serves Butts County, Lamar County, and Monroe County. So why do we need them? Why do we want them? Simple. Rehabilitation. Rehabilitation over punishment. Punishment is that they're charged with a crime. They go to court. They either get probation and put back on the street, or they go to prison for a certain amount of time, and they're put back on the street. And in both cases, they are not rehabilitated. So we're putting them back into the same situation that they came out of with no means on how to cope with it, no means to how to be thriving individuals. So TAC takes that. It's an extensive program and rehabilitate the individuals so that in after two years that they can go back into society and be a thriving member of the uh, of the their community and their goals are to um, reduce the rate of substance abuse and drug related crime activities by providing an intense supervised substance abuse and treatments and traditional guidance and case management serves the individuals who are dependent on alcohol and or addicted to other substance and in some cases, these are co-occurring disorders that needs to be taken care of. So rehabilitation is the key factor and in extensive is one that we need them in our, in our district. So how many, what is the court system? The, there are five different types. There are the uh, adult felony, um, drug charges court, the adult drug court. Um, there is the adult mental health court, the veterans treatment court where veterans may have encountered some uh, challenges um, that is due to the fact of their military service while they were in wartime. There is also the operating under the influence, um, driving some type of uh, motor vehicle while under the influence of either drugs or alcohol. And then also the family treatment court. And the family treatment court is, these are individuals that have or will lose their children or their children are in foster care because of their substance abuse. So we, um, we also help them to be thriving citizens, not only thriving citizens, but to provide that safe environment for themselves, for their children, and for their family. Uh, so Tally, uh, Tallalaga Judicial Circuit. Who makes makes up for that? That is um, serving Butts County, Lamar County, and Monroe, uh, Monroe County uh, is the Superior Court judges, and Judge Fears is the one that is mostly involved in the uh, drug program. He is also the founder. Um, there's also the District Attorney's Office, the Public Defender's Office, the Probation Officers, and the Sheriff's surveillance teams, and they are made up of the sheriff's departments in Monroe, Lamar, and Butts County. And I think there is about two, two in each county, 
that we have that works with the, um, that is on the surveillance team with TAC. They are the ones that will go out to the uh, participants' home for home visits to make sure that, that they're abiding by all the rules and they're meeting their curfews and they could do spontaneous drug testing while they're there. So in our tax staff that works in the office aspect of it, on the, other, on the flip side of the legal side, uh, is, of course, Judge Fears, which is the founder of the Tallalaka um, court system. And there's Steve Gallo. He's been in uh, human services for 27 years. And Stacy is our case manager. We have Natasha in our mental health. We have treatment providers that does counseling and also teaches our classes in each of the four phases. And then we have our office manager. She puts together, Christy puts together everything for everybody in the office. So she's like the backbone of TAC office there. So, uh, so a participant, how do they come into the program? Okay, so, they're pulled over for whatever reason, a drug raid or what. They get charged with a drug charge or, or maybe mental illness has caused them to do a particular um, criminal, uh, nonviolent criminal act, and maybe they're having substance abuse. But they're any, at any rate, they're, they are charged with this and placed in prison or pl pl placed in jail awaiting trial. And the DA or someone from that uh, Tallalaka judicial system will recommend them to um, tax caseworker, which is Stacy. And when they recommend them, they've already interviewed them, went over the program with them, and 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 tell and inform them in order for them to go into this program that um, they must plead guilty to, to their crime, okay? So um, all that legal aspects is done um, before it comes to us because we are not legal, we are not lawyers. So the only thing that we're going to do is do the interview and, and get, the, get their needs and talk to them about the program. So once that has been sent over to our caseworker, she will then go uh, do an extensive interview with them using the LSCMI scoring system, which is between um, that they must score between 25 to 35 in order to qualify. Too low means that they're not probably not going to complete the program. Too high means that they're going to probably be in that recycle and back into the system again. So they're going to relapse. Um, once that's approved, they do a second background check, and that second background check is looking for any violent crimes such as rape, child molestation, um, armed robbery, battery. Any violent crime will throw them out of the program. And also they must be a residence of either Monroe Butts or um, Lamar County. Once the caseworker receives that paperwork, goes to the staff, the staff will have a meeting, talk about all the participants, what they're gonna need, their resources, and then all of that is presented to the judge. And once the judge approves it, they are set uh, for the next document where the participant and their attorney will show up in court. Once they're in court, the judge will ask them a series of questions and they will either agree or not agree and they will sign all the paperwork agreeing to the policies and procedures of the drug court, including the 360 on their phone, which allows the surveillance teams to be able to track them wherever they go, and um, weekly drug test and biweekly uh, court appearance. And once they accept everything and everything is signed and done, then that following Monday, they report to uh, the TAC office or if they are mental health or severe drug um, drug abuse that needs a stint uh, in-house residency, they will go from jail to the uh, in-house residency, and that's when the mental health coordinator will take over on that process. The other participants will come to the TAC office 
and they will be um, scheduled onboarding. We get all their resources, let them know what they find out what their needs are. If they need it more than what we've got, where we can go, and whatever they need is taken care of and we try to make sure that they are taken care of at that time they are scheduled an orientation then they are scheduled um, classes and um, schedule their classes and schedule other resources that they may need at that time so but it is an extent program as you see here it is a um, four phases that goes in um, and they must complete all of them before they can graduate. Um, before they can graduate in phase four, they have to be in good standing. Um, they, all the phases and all the classrooms has to be completed and all tax fees has to be um, taken care of. And next, this is their graduation, and this was so exciting to watch these individuals that has completed the program from TAC. They um, went forth, and they've completed all four phases. And they in this is they appear in their last court date, and the judge will sign the uh, a recovery Bible for them. The uh, he will also sign documents clearing the charges from uh, from the participants record and then also um, they will receive a, a certificate of completion of the program so that is so exciting and the skills that I've learned and I've taken away from that is unbelievable um, my communication listening interviewing and note-taking has just just I, I mean I'm I'm so thrilled at how well and how fast that that has gone for me to gain this knowledge and to gain and enhance these experience. I know Steve told me um, not too long ago, and I was so excited that my note taken was so detailed and so precise and that he was, he says, probably the best he's ever seen. And I was like, oh, wow, because my notes used to be all over the place. So that was quite a compliment. And so if I look over here and I, I'm like looking at my all my skills that I've uh, that I've learned and I've got angry management over here and I figured you know what don't sweat the small stuff that's what I've learned don't sweat the small stuff it's not that important just keep on going and if I'm going to teach it I, it has to be a skill that I've learned so yes anger management is a skill that I've learned so but I I cannot say enough about the things that I've learned and I'm continually learning by volunteering with them uh, throughout uh, when my internship ended. And this has just been a an awesome opportunity. So I like to close with this. This is a little quote that I wrote and it says, as we plant a seed, we nurture, we nurture it providing the resources it needs to grow. Then one day it takes root and it grows on its own. Isn't that what it's, we're supposed to do? Isn't that awesome to see a person, a participant come into the program and then graduate totally different from when they came in, become thriving individuals. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. And you have a wonderful, blessed day.